All right, so we're going to look at the practice quiz um, number eight, and it asks us to find the center of a circle. with this equation given. To find the center, we need x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, which means we need to complete the square to find the center. So I'm going to do x squared minus 6x, and I'm going to leave room to complete the square. And then I'm going to do y squared plus 2y, leave room to complete the square. And then we don't really need the 1, so I'm going to move it to the other side by minusing 1. So the x's and the y's have their own completing the square. So completing the square, we're going to take the middle term, negative 6 for the x's, we divide it by 2 and we get negative 3, and then we square that term, and we get 9. This is always the pattern. You do b divided by 2 and then square it. So whatever I do to one side, though, I do to both sides. So let's do the y's, same idea. We take 2, that's my b, divide by 2, we get 1, and then we square that number. And that's the number that we add. And as long as we do it to both sides, it's allowed. And we now have, what we did is we created perfect squares. So x squared minus 6x plus 9 gives me x minus 3 squared. 3 times 3 is 9, and then negative 3 plus negative 3 is 6. This term actually always matches this term, b divided by 2. And then the y terms, what do we have? We have y squared plus 2y plus 1. So my factor is going to be 1, y plus 1 squared. 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. And then what do we get? The 1's cancel out and we get 9. And so my center, h is 3. And k is negative 1, so 3, negative 1. And then if you wanted to, the radius would be 3, because this is 3 squared. Does this help complete the square, hopefully? So we always, the rule for completing the square is if, this is when x does not have a coefficient. So if there's an a, you have to factor that out. But these don't have coefficients, plus c. The rule is, is we do b divided by 2. And then we do b divided by 2 squared. And so that's the number we add and subtract. Or if you have two sides, you can add it to the other side. And this will always make a perfect square. I think I made that mess here. Let's do this instead. Let's do x squared plus b, x plus c equals 0. All right, we move the c to the other side. So we're going to do b divided by 2, and then we do b divided by 2 squared. And the squared number is the number you're adding, and you will get a perfect square of x plus b over 2 squared every time. So hopefully that helps. Um, I think the other question was number 9, which is not about circles. So hopefully this is the right one. But if we want to do symmetry about the origin, It means we have an odd function, meaning f of negative x equals negative f of x. And essentially, we have three options, or four options. So we'll just plug in and check. And then x equals. So multiple choice, I'll just kind of check which one works. So in the first one, if I plug in negative x, do I get the opposite function? No, the plus one kind of throws it off. So this one's actually a neither. Um, the next one, negative x all to the fourth would just be x to the fourth, which means this one's actually even. So it's not symmetric about the origin. Next one, negative x cubed gives me negative x cubed, which is negative f of x. So this is my odd function or symmetric about the origin. And you could try the last one, but once I find the answer, I wouldn't save my time and not bother. But if you were to plug in negative x, it would not be odd.